Yeah, I really do. But that is a still a smashing drawing for like my skill level. Future bro, f f f fucker, put it up. No. Show everybody my talent. I started like how many days ago? Whoa, whoa. Future editor Brad, zoom in on that. What the fuck did I just see? What's going on over here? What are you running from? Oh, what the fuck is that? There's something over here. I'm gonna pull out the shotgun. Oh, hey, so story time. Postal? You know that game? Yeah, new one came out. Not only that, but, uh... Is it good? The Postal 4? Yeah. I actually don't know. I don't, I don't have it yet. Uh, well, it's in are, early access right say? now. Re reviews say it's really good for where it's at right now. But it's in early access, so, so things are subject to change. Uh, but apparently Postal, the original one, yeah. uh, has gone free to play. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck, I'll pick it up. I recommend it. It's a... It's, it's an isometric one. I, we can actually play it today if you want. Maybe. Maybe. It could be another series that we play. Because hmm. uh, I, I still have to beat Postal 2. And I, that, that game shit, is like a game fucking... where ladders actually fucking work. What is this? Cryfear has a good ladder system. Cryfear has a very good ladder system. Cryfear has the most realistic ladder system I've seen. Because it actually like forces you to... Climb it, it, the ladder. It, well, yeah, because it has an animation system too. It doesn't just fucking like... You're not just walking up it. <laughs> right. Like I thought that was. One. I always thought that was the silliest thing about Half Life, is that you just walk up ladders. You know, boom, boom. Yeah. Oh shit! I got a helmet. Yeah. But the thing, the thing with Half Life, I really like it. It just has a lot of issues with it that I wish Ooh. would. This is a special pistol, Martha. The thing is with Half Life and Half Life Source is that the source port is probably really much. It probably fixes all of the issues that I have with the original. Yeah. Oh shit! The mouse kind of started cutting down there. Uh huh. I'm just waiting for it to cut out in the middle of a gunfight. <laughs> <laughs> it starts spitting everywhere. You should probably save. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for fucking reminding me. That is like... This game. The quick save button is your best friend. That's why I like playing games with two people. Because that way someone can like... Remind someone else to save. Open. Open says me! Sometimes you can find cool stuff in there. Wait, hold up. You just teabagged a toilet. How do you feel? Ah, fuck! <laughs> oh, it's static spider webs. Just what I wanted. Can I get underneath that? Yo! No, just run through it. Ow, fuck, that hurts. I hate fucking obstacles that are like that, where you just have to run through it and just hope that you don't die. So let's, let's, let's do some stuff. Let's... Let's partay! Ow! Let us partay. You got fucking very lucky there. <laughs> yes, I did. With that fire. So is that just a static spider webs, or...? Moss. Okay. It's like... Spicy oh, dude, moss. this is fucking your gamer setup. I just, I just remember. Oh that. hell yeah. yeah! With your Bye. old fucking Windows ninety five box computer. What game? What what game or game series would you say that like no matter what you're a pro at? Like you're better than the average player. Hmm. Like you know all the secrets. You know all the secret like weapon locations, and you know the best effective path to go through it the quickest. Shit, that's actually. I'm not sure. I never really mastered any games. Uh, for me, at the moment, I the only game I could really call myself a pro at probably is Fortnite. Uh, Postal Two, because that that game is just really a lot of just memorizing Can I grab fucking caches. That I Postal Two is just a lot of remembering where like drug caches and uh, weapon caches are. If you remember where those two things are, then you're pretty much boss at the game. I'm not a postal nerd like you. I've, I've just been sticking to my stalker. I I'm a postal nerd. I've Right now, I think I have, like, I think I have 13 smoke pipes, which is more than the average person. Average person has, like, two. Ah. Oh, that's cute. Ah. Ah. They just look ah. like mutant rats. Ah. They're eating me. Ah. Shit. What a good game. I got vored by mutant rats. What a good game. Why do we talk about vor so much? I don't know. It's just the fact that, like, consuming someone like a wet spaghetti noodle is just... Weird. Uh huh. It's like, and there he goes. Hi. Hey. <laughs> yeah. See, look how far back I am now. I gotta go through this entire fucking building again, yes, just because I didn't save. Yes, you forgot to save. I just want to hate about these games. I know. It's like, mm, fuck. And you're all like, fuck. I keep running into these things. I, for me personally, it's the worst in Postal Two, because like, especially on Thursday, you can you have to go through the napalm factory. And if you forget to save at any point, and you die, you get sent right back to the beginning of the Napalm Factory, and you're like, God, 
fucking damn it. I actually did it a few times in my recording. I'll try to go through this as fast as possible because I hate, you know, repeating things. Yeah, well, I'll probably also cut it down when, we, when we're not talking. Or Ow! It's... Maybe drop my shotgun. <laughs> oh no, there's just a sharp drop button. If you press G, you just yeet your gun. Not sure. Hmm? What would you do if one morning you woke up and you're like... Like... It, Okay, would you rather, like, your fingers were mini shotguns when you, one day when you woke up? Oh my god. Or your dick was a shotgun? Fuck, my dick was a shotgun, bro? Hey, uh -huh. It would be, uh... That'd not, 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 that not be good. <laughs> it, it doesn't kill people, though. It's still shot... It, it only fires, like, you know, fat nut. That'd but, like, be an it, explosive fat nut, bro. If you, if you had, like... Fuck, if you had the shotguns that. on your fingers, it'd still fire, like, regular rounds. Just think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've really put Ow. a whole new perspective on like teddy grabbing. Just poof, poof. <laughs> All right, so I. You think? What the fuck? The fuck was that? <laughs> fuck! <laughs> what the fuck was that, Asher? Asher, what the fuck was that? I don't know. God damn it! Game theory, uh, stalker call it p p p p p is oh, actually a prelude. Is actually a prelude to Bendy and the Ink Machine. <laughs> By the way, what a fucking like missed opportunity that game was. Yeah, all right. Blow up. Uh, I think the personally for me, the large reason why that game is such a fucking like missed opportunity is entirely due to the fact that it's trying to take it's trying to do what every other game at the time was doing, and it was taking something seen as cutesy and for kids. And making it edgy and disturbing. Was Everyone was doing it at the time, and it was... When Bendy and the Ink Machine came out, it was, like, right at the peak of it, I'll say. Because he also had games like Five Nights at Freddy's and Baldi's Basics at around, around the same time. Baldi's so, Basics is just a fucking... Game. Baldi's Basics was supposed to be a parody of those games, and I think it did really well as a parody. Because it really just shown how fucking... Blind to the idea of a parody and a joke that the the community that follows those types of games are. And Baldi's Basics got an entire fucking fandom behind it or some shit. Baldi's Basics, I played it. I played it when it came out, cause uh, based off Convo's recommendation, and I thought it was like, I thought it was just okay. I didn't think it was anything too special. Like this eerie music. It didn't even have any music. It was just. It's just some dude slowly yeah, beating him off in the background. Well, it, it was a ruler, but it didn't sound like a ruler, so. I mean, I guess it's, it's beating off his ruler. It, it's meant to be like a parody of those, like, not only like the recent time of like jump scare horror, but also a parody of those like old pre rendered mid 90s uh, edutainment games. Mm -hmm. It did really well as both, I think. Okay, I'm going to save for But the now. the actual gameplay is just really fucking basic and boring. Gosh, shake your bliat! I turned into my fucking Russian. <laughs> what are you? Oh, you're one of those fuckers. Ah, uh, yes. Bingo. Bango bongo. Bingo. Bingo bango bongo. I don't wanna read the Congo. Na 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 na. Copyright. Na 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 na. Who fucking cares? I doubt that. Actually, that's not sure we've been copyright. Uh, uh, we've had videos claimed before. Is it? Yeah. And how fucking important are we? Not very. It's because like, it's auto detected by YouTube systems. <laughs> if they hear copyrighted music, then they'll just, uh, you know, give it to them. Which I'm okay with. I'm not planning on monetizing these stu this stuff anyways. I, I killed my mice fun. again. Yeah. One one of them just like, kind of bit my nose and I was like, had enough one of it. One bit your fucking like left test and you were just done. Yep. You're like, fuck this. I'm done. Yup. I saved this time. Did you? Yes, I'm gonna bop the microphone. <laughs> I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna have to cut that out now. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, I know. My, microphone, my microphone's fucking broke. Really? Yeah. Hope they didn't fuck it up. No. No? It was already pretty fucked up. Can I dip up. my chip into your coffee? You wanna know if I... Yeah, you can go ahead. I don't can care. I really? Yeah, go ahead. Can I really? Yeah, go ahead. I bet. Let's do it. I've dipped weirder things in there. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious. That's a weird taste. Oh, that's good. I like that taste. I dip my corn dogs in coffee sometimes, but I also dip my corn dogs in maple syrup. Poco recently released um, breakfast corn dogs that are like uh, bacon flavored and like maple sausage flavored, 
And I'm so tempted to try the maple sausage because that sounds just so good. They kill all the mice out of here we're gonna get eaten. We're gonna get vored by little people. You know what my favorite type of like thing is in horror games? Mm. Is when like there's rooms or like a series of rooms. Oh my god. With like walls that look like flesh. Look at that. What? What's that? A whole bunch of army medkits. I see. Like beautiful. I see. There's something in here. Uh, sir. Uh, the game already. Uh, That's it, you beat the game, I can't believe it. There's something in here. Let's see. Yeah, told you there's something in here. Let's see. I want to save again. Good idea. You should save often. I really should. You know what's a game I really should record? Uh, Payday uh, 2. Oh yeah. Fun fact, when I was trying to find Postal on Steam, Postal 2, I yeah. thought I, I searched up Payday 2 because I thought that was the name. Because at the time I didn't know the difference. But now I know the difference. One's one's actually a really, one's a really fun game that I really enjoy playing. And the other is Payday 2. <laughs> one's about robbing banks, the other one's about... Robbing banks, but with extra steps. Shit, drop the mouse. God damn it. I can't see shit. Oh my god. Yeah, fun fact. Should I record my playthrough of Stalker in dark mode? My Stalker uh, Misery? Uh, you can if you want. It's, uh... I don't know if I should do it, though. That's the only issue. Because I don't have a mini-map, so I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I can only go out at night, so you can't see shit. And I don't have shit. Well, do it if you want to. I'm not going to stop you. The only weapon I think I have is, like, a hatchet. Is that, like, a mod that you got, can yeah. get? Oh, I see. There's a lot of mods for these games. And it isn't me. Yeah. Holy shit, why am I so just like, <gasps> mode? I can of. I was gonna, I thought that was food for a second. I was gonna eat a can of. What is this? A can of colophonium. Colophonium. No, not again, not again, not again, not again. Stay the fuck away from me. Rosin, also called colophony or Greek pitch, is a solid form of resin obtained from pines and some other plants, mostly conifers, produced by heating fresh liquid resin to vaporize the volatile liquid terpen. Components. It's semi-transparent and varies in color from yellow to black. At room temperature, rosin is brittle, but it melts at stovetop temperature. It chiefly consists of various resin acids, especially uh, abetic acid. The term colophony comes from colophonia resina, Latin for resin from colophon, an ancient icon ionic city. Uh, TLDR, plant shit. So can I eat it? Maybe. Are you a vegan? No. Then no. Shit, piss, and cum. I'm as carnivorous as the next guy. I just, I just remembered the video that we laugh at all the time. Bitch, <laughs> why you mad? A a Come bitch. my pussy pop severely, and, and y'all don't. don't talk. Guys, that's <laughs> such a good video. We're such sinners. I got batteries. What do I do with these batteries? Hey, bro, you want these batteries? What was I say? Uh, like, hey, you want batteries? Um, I don't think anyone wants your sneaky fucking asshole batteries. I like nine volt batteries. I have ten of them. You want batteries? Alright. I'm gonna piss and come in my bum. why? Why are we laughing at that? Because <laughs> he said it so casually. <laughs> he was just like, "I'm gonna piss and shit and come in my bum." Because <laughs> it fucking reminds us of like the times that we used to laugh at sludge. <laughs> the sludge just blow know. my brains all over the fucking wall. My cheeks are probably cheeky red right now. I'm probably looking like a tomato. I'm probably I'm that tomato skin from Fortnite, bro. Ugh. Fucking okay, can I can I go off for a hot second about something really? Go right ahead. So I'm fucking pissed at the new Star Wars, right? Huh? You wanna know why? Ooh. Because all of the events that happen in the new Star Wars are caused because of a out of a, an exclusive event that happened in Fortnite. I'm I'm I refuse to support the movie after that. Bah, bah, bah. I'm that is such a fucking scummy practice. I, I can't bring myself to support that. 
When you're doing my perfidy account you, you know, dropping. You know what I fucking hate also about Epic uh, Games? Uh, is that they just they're able to fucking hold games as exclusives for a set amount of time. Fuck, what happened to Metro Ex Exodus was just stupid. What happened to Metro Exodus? Uh it got taken off the Steam store and put onto the uh, Epic Game Store. Oh yeah? Yeah. As an as exclusive? A, permanently? Or for like a set time? Permanently, I think. Fuck that. I know, Metro is like one of my favorite game series. I want to record it for Red Plays. Epic Games is such a fucking scummy company because of that. And I hate that they're just allowed to do that. There has to be like some law put in place against doing that. Because that's dude, squashing competition, basically. I don't know why I was taking them to Steam Store. Uh, uh, because Epic Games wants to have the monopoly on game launchers. Because uh, everyone Steam. wants to have their own game launcher now. I, I wish, I fucking wish that someone would just make a universal game launcher. And I'm not talking about like, oh, every game gets ported to that and that's where they stay. What I'm watching is just it scans your computer for every game on it and just loads that into a system for the launcher. Yeah, fuck. That'd be nice. But you know, we're never going to get it. It's, sure. it's not going to happen because that, that'd actually be a good idea. I don't know, I'm certain that there's someone be making money. I'm certain there's someone out there who can leave like a lengthy essay in the comments about why that's such a fucking terrible idea and it would never work. But I don't want to hear it. So uh, and I'm certain on the flip side of that coin, there's someone who knows how to do that better than the way that I'm describing. 